Okay, so today we are going to be summoning for the new transforming cell and exchange Goku and Gohan that just dropped on the global side of the game for the Golden Week Dual Dokkan Fest. Now, real quick, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Gamer Subs. What I have in my hand right now is the new Pirate Waifu Cup, which is dropping today at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And just like all the other Waifu Cups, this one will sell out before the end of the day. So if you guys want to get your hands on it, then make sure to be on the website, link in my description, at 3 p.m. Eastern. And on top of that, we also have a new uh, flavor dropping, which is the peach tea right here. And this is honestly probably my favorite flavor they've ever released. I'm basically drinking it every single day, so I highly recommend it. So peach tea as well as the Pirate Waifu Shaker dropping today at 3 p.m. Eastern. And as always, you can use my discount code TIGER for 10% off everything. Okay, so go check out Gamersups, link in my description. And uh, with that said, we have this wheel of Frieza, or sorry, <laughs> of Cell and Goku slash Gohan, which we are gonna spin a few times just to enhance our luck a little bit. It's something that we started doing I feel like about a year ago, and most of the time it's worked, you know? So, starting with the LR first form cell, let's give this wheel a quick seven spins, because I can't think of any other number that really makes sense. So, let's go with seven, just because seven is lucky, right? So, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven there we go seven spins of the wheel jumping over to the banners now and as far as the featured units um i feel like it's a bit of a mixed bag for both banners because there's some really good and some not so good for each of the banners so we have the new goku on this side as well as the new vegeta both are very good and then we have a lot of cell which makes sense but i'm not excited to see him I gotta say and then we also have STR Super Vegeta which for me is super exciting because I don't even have him yet so I could potentially get my first copy today and then we have PyCon who we recently saw um, we got this guy the exchange boo who is like okay but Dell is very good still but uh, I don't really need her anymore and this ends future Gohan is all right and that's about it for the Goku slash Gohan banner. And then for the Cell banner, same thing. We got some good units and some not as good units. We got the new Cell. We have the uh, 18 and 16, which I really want for obvious reasons. Um, we got this AGL Gohan, who still really good, but featured a lot recently. And then uh, Kale and Khalifla, we haven't seen them on Global for a while. I think this actually might be the first time they're returning to Global, possibly. Not sure. And then uh, we have the Janemba, which we, was you know recently featured as well. And then uh, Int Gotenks and Tech Ultimate Gohan, who's amazing still, right? But you know, kind of kind of over featured as well. I feel like I feel like a lot of these units have just been featured like a ton in the last six months. But it's fine. It's okay. All I really care about are the new units. Oh, and also uh, Android 13 is here as well. Okay, so. We've been spending a lot of time talking. I need to stop. We need to just jump in and summon. So if you guys want to summon with me, then feel free to do a group summon right now. Let's go. Uh, yeah, Goku banner first. Goku banner first, because I do want the Goku and Gohan. Actually, I was going to say a little bit more, but that's not necessarily true. I want both equally, I think. But I want the Super Vegeta really bad too, so this banner is definitely better for me. And here we go, guys. First multi, let's get it. Group summon in three, two, one. Let it rip. Let's get it. Here we go. <sighs> okay, let's see what this first multi has in store for us. By the way, if you guys are wondering why, there's like this little red dot uh, above my eyebrow here. Um, <laughs> I basically got attacked by a car door yesterday, and um, 
yeah, just left this nice little little mark on my forehead. It's not that bad, honestly. It's like a little bruised. You know, it was a little bit of blood, but uh, I held it together. I didn't cry, I promise. And uh, we had to replace the car door, actually, because, you know, th this is what happened to me, but the door got completely destroyed. So, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, second multi, first multi, nothing. Second multi here. Uh, maybe a fusion. I would like that. Here we go. Super Saiyan. I'm gonna say Super Vegito, because I don't really want to see Vegito Blue. Because if we do get a Vegito Blue, that would mean LR. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But if we got a Vegito Blue, that would have been a guaranteed LR cell, which is what Android 18 got recently. Um, <laughs> she was just telling me that she did a multi, and she was excited to get Vegito Blue until she realized that it meant LR cell. And apparently, it's like the only LR that she has rainbowed. And um, I think, in fact, she has enough to rainbow like two copies of LR Cell, plus a few extra. And oh, okay, we got a Frieza. That's a solid pull, actually. I need that guy. Um, and yeah, she has like nine copies or whatever, like 12 copies of Int LR Cell and no other LR rainbow, which is just really sad, right? So, hopefully that doesn't happen to us today. We are looking at a potential featured unit here. So that's exciting. Let's get it. Our first combo, our first real animation in the video so far. Can it be a Gohan and Goku? That would be best case scenario. LR Cell will be worst case scenario. Super Vegeta would be really good, but obviously the Gohan is still the priority here. Come on. Oh, new unit. I'll take it. I'll take it. Super Saiyan Vegeta. Really, really good side unit. So I can't complain about that. And then we have Super Saiyan Trunks. Okay, father-son combo right there. And anything else? Come on. One more. Oh, okay. So we got three SSRs. One really good. Two not so good, but that's that, that's okay. That's okay. I'll take the new Vegeta. And now we have a group summon. Or sorry, a free summon, which we could make a group summon. We got a free multi here. And we get a fusion. Let's go. Okay, possible fusion. Group summon, guys. Let's make it quick. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, fuse. Don't go blue. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. That's perfect. Um, this would be our first Dokkan Fest unit of the video now, and there is a chance for Cell, actually. It, it, it's not impossible. <laughs> it's not impossible that it is Cell, but I'm really hoping it's not. Here we go. I will take anything other than Cell. Like, I don't even care if the other units rainbowed. I just don't want to see that guy, man. I really, really don't want to see Cell in this video. Please. It gonna be oh yes <laughs> yes okay <laughs> not as exciting as the new unit but almost because this guy to me is new and i tried really hard to get him when he first dropped on global and he just would not drop for me so my first str super vegeta that's awesome that that is awesome and another int golden frieza what's up with that okay um I'll, I'll take the Super Vegeta. Yo, we're getting actually back-to-back -back Vegetas there. It's like the Vegeta video, or there's some kind of weird Vegeta luck floating around. Anyways, um, let's move on to the Cell banner here. Like I said, I want both of them equally. I do think this banner is better for me personally, but we gotta try at least one round on the uh, Cell banner. I might go back and do another round on the Goku banner after this. But we at least gotta try, so. We at least have to try. And, uh, you know, it's been a while since we've seen any kind of special, like, guaranteed unit animation. Maybe I saw it in the last video, actually. But it feels like it's been a while. But I think that's also because I haven't summoned in a while, right? Because we got the, like, weird top legendary summon banner um, before this, and also the double rates ban- or no, uh, 
the type banners, the the type banners as well, which I did not touch. I just bought the you know supports I was missing. So it has been a minute. It's, it has been a minute since we've uh, summoned in this game. So it feels like it's been forever since I've seen one of these guaranteed unit animations. It'd be awesome if we saw a Zeno or a, a Rift or a Rewind. Any of those three. I'm not gonna be picky. Yo, any one of those three would be would be great. Oh, in terms of the discounts, in case you guys missed it, there are extra discounts for the first three multis. I think it's like 35, 40, 45 or something like that. And then you get the free multi. And then after that, it's uh, your standard three plus one. And there aren't any tickets, as you probably would have noticed by this point. No tickets for summoning on this banner because it's a joint celebration. It's a, you know, global and JP kind of thing at the same time. So anytime we have that, they don't do tickets because for some reason they don't like to offer free tickets to um, JP players in terms of like summoning tickets or tickets for summoning. Uh, there are like the rainbow tickets and stuff like that, but yeah, they never do the tickets per multi kind of thing on JP. So that's why when it's a joint celebration, Global doesn't get tickets as well because that would be just super unfair, I guess. Although it doesn't really make a difference as far as like, you know, global getting tickets for most to a fest anyways, if they're like delayed, right? Does that make sense? I feel like that didn't make sense. What I'm trying to say is like, you know, for the anniversary, for example, um, JP doesn't get tickets for summoning, right? Whereas global does, it's just, you know, in the future, it, it's like six months delayed. But at the end of the day, it's still global getting tickets for banners that JP didn't get, right? So why can't they just still give us tickets anyways? Or maybe it's like too glaring if it's like a simultaneous release, right? If it's delayed, then people aren't gonna be as mad. Whereas, got the Super Saiyan God animation, that's cool. Um, whereas if it's simultaneous, then it's just, it's just gonna be too noticeable. Hey, let's go. Okay, we got both of the side units. That's solid for the first round, I would say. You know, like some people are expecting a lot more. Some people are like, yo, I want both new units in the first first round. My expectations at this point, when you've, when you've been playing Dokkan for as long as I have, um, have become very reasonable. Okay, so <laughs> for me to get both side units on the first rounds uh, is already really, really good. I, I cannot complain about that at all. So there you have it guys, we got the Android 16 and 18, we got the Super Saiyan Vegeta, we got STR Super Vegeta as well. So honestly, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. I'm gonna do one more round though on the Goku and Gohan banner just cause I want to get at least one of them today. But if we don't walk away with either one, um, I'll still be relatively satisfied. I'll, I'll still be relatively... Like, like I said, man, when you've been playing Dogon for as long as I have, when you have summoned as many times as I have over the years, um, you really become kind of desensitized to a shaft, or rather your definition of shaft becomes much more, it just changes. Like when I first started the game, for example, right, when I was like a newbie, um, I would say I got shafted if I spent like 200 stones and I didn't pull the new units. Like I feel like I got shafted, right? And now if I, you know, spend 500 stones and I don't get the new unit, I'm like, okay, that's just how it is. If I spend a thousand stones, I'll be like, okay, it's a, it's like a kind of a shaft, but like not really, like not, it's not like a real shaft, you know? Um, it only really feels like a shaft if I spend like 1500 and I don't get the unit or something like that, you know? So. Yeah, my expectations have really become quite low, and I don't know if that's a good thing, but that's just the honest truth, man. That's just, that's just how it is. Mm. Okay, I expected that. I very much saw this coming. Um, that's why I didn't get excited for the Vegito Fusion, because I kind of had a feeling that it was going to be, you know, not <laughs> the Goku. So we got the Int Gohan, we got Deborah, we got two more multis on this banner. Should I do another round on the Cell banner? It is a possibility. 
It is a possibility. Okay, I'm gonna pull down here. So no fusion with the Vegeta, which is okay. That's, that's also how things go sometimes. And I just hope that we get at least one more featured unit before we go. Um, another Super Vegeta would be dope. Another um, Super Saiyan Vegeta would be great. I could also use, I think, the Dell 1 copy. Yeah, I think she's 90%. Or she might be rainbowed. I did say before I don't need her anymore, right? But thinking back now, I think I do need one copy of Videl, so I'll take that. Um, and I believe the rest of the units are rainbowed. Or maybe Pycon, I need like one copy. Or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, point is, this will probably be the last multi of this video. I will be back. As you guys know, I don't just leave... Especially when it comes to Dual Dokkan Fest, I don't just leave it at one video, right? So, if we don't get anything here, I definitely will be back. But, hopefully we do get at least one Goku here, because it would kind of suck to leave without either of the new units. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Yeah, it's looking rough. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go back to my wheel and spin it a few more times. Hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then we are going to jump right back into the cell banner here. A little bit ill advised, I'll admit, but I can't leave in a multi like that, man. That last multi was just too bad. That last multi was too rough. So, oh, oh, double screen crack. Double, double, panties. Okay, no panties there. That's okay, though. We still got this. I still believe. I still believe. Ooh, okay. By the way, guys, feel free to let me know in the comments what you guys pulled, um, how your luck was in the banner so far. I know it's still early, so maybe we haven't summoned that much yet. But uh, if you guys pull some crazy stuff, like, I don't know, three Gokus in one multi, or five cells in one multi, then definitely let me know in the comments, man. Um, I love to hear about stories of people winning at this game, because most of the time it's just people complaining about being shafted, right? So, um, if you guys got something crazy, you guys got some wild luck, then definitely, definitely let me know. Okay, so we did get a combo here. Um, not gonna let myself get excited once again, not gonna let my hopes get too high, just cause it could be anything. It could be some garbage like, uh, Fizz Piccolo. Okay, is it three SSRs? It might be three SSRs. Oh, it's this guy. Okay. <laughs> of course it's this guy. <laughs> of course it's the Gohan. Not as bad as Cell. But almost. Almost. Okay. Uh, 17 and Gohan. Not much of a combo there. <sighs> okay, so it looks like we might actually not pull either one in two rounds. But, as I said, I'm not going to say I got shafted. Because I don't think I did. I got at least the new side units. You know, that's... That's something, we got Super Vegeta, which uh, I've wanted for a while. So at the end of the day, still a win, still a win. Not gonna complain by any means. Um, and we'll get him next time, guys. We will get him next time. And as I'm saying that, you know, I'm trying to use this reverse psychology to maybe, maybe make the cell appear. Oh, this looks promising. Fusion. Wow, okay. When I, when I saw the, the, the Vegeta and the, uh, the Trunks, I was like, maybe, maybe a fusion. Um, and then they didn't go Super Saiyan. And it was a Super Saiyan 1. So basically, it's a guaranteed shaft at this point. And once again, as a whole, not really a shaft. I'm just saying this multi specifically is destined to be a shaft. As you guys can see. 
So there you have it. Uh, we're gonna end off on a STR Majin of Vegeta. Um, the luck was, you know, decent. I would say it was it was decent. As you can see, we got the uh, oh the music stopped. Okay, so let me just put on. You know what, let's just put on the Gohan and Goku theme again, because I like this one a lot. Um, yeah, we got the new Gohan, or sorry, not Gohan, I wish. We got the new Super Saiyan Vegeta, we got the new uh, androids, and we also got this boy right here, man. Like, he he makes me very happy. This, this makes me very happy, so it's all good. We'll be back with more summons probably tomorrow, or sooner than later so make sure you guys stay tuned for that once again quick reminder that the pirate waifu cup is dropping today 3 p.m eastern make sure you guys get on it because it will sell out very quickly they always do the quantity is extremely extremely limited and uh, try out the new ht flavor as well one of my personal favorites maybe the favorite right now and uh Use my code, TIGER, for 10% off your purchase. Link in my description. And that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm TIGER with Tiger Uppercut Video, signing out.